Is it hard to access affordable, healthy food? Then listen carefully. Daryl Addison, an African-American inventor, has patented a process for growing food on demand. He called it Torpedo Pot. Torpedo Pot is a fully automated flower pot that gives you control over your plant's environment. All you do is add soil, seeds, and plants to the flower pot and watch it grow. Yes, Torpedo Pot grows the rest. Visit www.torpedopot.com. Peace, family. My name is Vicki Dillard, and I'm pleased to be a contributor here on African Diaspora News Channel. Please make sure you give us a big thumbs up, thumbs up, and share, 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 share this broadcast. Thank you so much. Now, family, I've got to do this brief war briefing because this is demonic, satanic, diabolical thinking that's coming from black looking people such as Will Smith. What are you talking about, Vicki? Will Smith, I'm reading from IndieWire now, Will Smith came out and said that he's doing a new uh, movie, slave movie. He said he normally didn't like to do slave movies, but he said he turned down Django because Django was more about vengeance rather than love. He says that this new movie he's doing called Emancipation has the has what Django Unchained lacked, love over vengeance. Now, family, let me tell y'all's funny looking self something. Let me, let me read this quote real fast. For Will Smith. Y'all please tag Will Smith and Jada and the Red Table Talk and tell Jada that she need to bring me on Red Table Talk so that I could get her funny looking husband straight. Jada pushes this mess too. And this is the reason why black society is in the bondage that we're in. See, bussies come with muscles and without muscles. Weak, juicy men come not just in the way they're built. But there are manifold ways that some of our brothers, unfortunately, show weakness to white supremacy, especially someone that has the global reach that Will Smith does and sitting up here trying to tell us Django had a vengeful nature to it instead of love. Now, let me get into this. He says here. It was about the creative direction of the story Smith previously told the Hollywood Reporter about skipping Django. To me, it's a per it's, it's, it's to me it's as perfect a story as you would ever want. A guy that learns how to kill to retrieve his wife that has been taken as a slave. That idea is perfect, and it was just and it was just that Quentin and I couldn't see eye to eye. I wanted to make that movie so badly, but I felt the only way was it has to be a love story, not a venge vengeance story. Let me tell you something that I told my assistant who I watched. Django with. I literally told her and I told one of my other audiences where my show is aired that Django is the ultimate <laughs> love story. Smith, sit your funny looking self down. Y'all better tag Will, tag Jada, tag Red Table Talk and tell them, give them this show. When we look up and ask ourselves, why are black people in the same condition we're in for 466 years? It's these kinds of antics that keep us behind for centuries. You think you are moral and righteous. Meanwhile, Will and, and Jada, some of us think that your household and your antics and stuff that y'all believe that you throw out there to the public and the public things that y'all do is really undermining black society. Talk black to me. The earth is violent. How many of you all know that when a volcano erupts, that's a that's a, a violent act. When there's a tsunami, there's an that's a violent act. When there are earthquakes, it's a it's a violent act. When there's tornadoes and hurricanes, it's a violent act. What is Vicky breaking down to you? That there are certain things like that that are necessary to bring balance to the planet. In the same way we need sunny days, calm days. That brings about a balance. And particularly when we've got a whole people on the planet that's been undermining black folks, killing black folks, taking black folks out for hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of years. That text in scripture that says turn the other cheek was not concerning your oppressive enemy. 
You turn the other cheek when it comes down to your own brother and sisters, meaning show more grace for your own than you do the oppressor. Can I prove to you that we've been given the wrong interpretation of what that scripture means? Because you all know that if you had a little baby girl and she was being fondled and molested by some disgusting old piece of vermin, you would not tell your little young girl that it's God's will that she turn the other cheek and let him do it again. That's demonic thinking. And those are thoughts that have been implanted in our heads by our open enemy who has always used as the ultimate warfare strategy against black people, our religion and our spirituality. They literally enslaved us in the name of Jesus. And I want y'all to help me tell all these funny looking holly weird individuals whose households are buck wild trying to tell us what to do and letting us know what the difference between love and vengeance is. Meanwhile, we're still dealing with outrageous Breonna Taylors and George Floyds and medical apartheid, educational apartheid, economic apartheid, social apartheid, familial apartheid, judicial apartheid, law enforcement apartheid. Boy, you better go sit your funny looking self down. Somebody better go tell Will he better go sit his funny looking self down. We'll don't speak for us. And if we had any sense, we'll boycott that funny looking eman uh, emancipation movie that's coming out. He said that's $125 million. Maybe we ought to make it a flop. Talk black to me. My name is Vicky Dillard. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram at Vicky X Dillard. Be sure to join my weekly mastermind at clubvicky.com once a week. I break down insights, spiritual jewels, secrets that will cause you to take your life to a new level. Your spirituality, beloved. I'm not talking about some strict religious context. I'm talking about spirituality, understanding your divine nature and your, unlimited, uh, your limitless capacity. When you begin to engage that reality about yourself, you will see real life changes in the 3D on earth. Somebody talk black to me. Join clubvicky.com. The link should be below. I can't wait to see you there. Living in America as a black person, you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those, especially in the white community. In our book, Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, I take you through times in my life when I first started noticing white supremacy. We teach you how to recognize it, identify it, and also counter it in our book. This book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. How you handle it, how you deal with it, it can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Pass Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy today on Amazon. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the African Diaspora News Channel app in the Google Play and Apple App Store.